Hey guys, what is going on? My name's Tyler McNabb. This right over here is my 400EX and this is my YFZ450R. So we have officially made it out to Ironman Raceway round 13, yeah, round 13 of the GNCC series. So we are out here waiting in line. As you can see, there's a line going that way, line going that way. And we're in like row 12 of approximately 15 to 17. Um, we're in row 12 of the rows of uh, vehicles. There's about 15 to 17 in each row. We went through and counted a couple. So we're sitting in the upper 200s of approximately where we are. Um, in line to get in it's currently just before noon we got here around 11 and uh yeah we're just waiting um we never know when they're going to open the gates uh, a lot of people say that well the website says six o'clock but usually they end up letting us in about three or four that's what it's been the last couple years so we'll see when uh when they actually end up letting us in but right now we're just out here chilling um we got the truck and the camper and then we got my dad back there, he's in the red truck with the side-by-side um, -side as well. We brought it just to uh, make it a little, little easier getting around the pits since this is a little bit bigger property than the locals. So, <clears throat> yeah, we're just out here waiting. And so I will catch up with you guys uh, when we get inside. So I'll see you then. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday morning. I was gonna check in with you last night, but we got caught up just unloading stuff and uh, honestly just hanging out. So uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to have a campfire last night. Uh, there was a, a red flag warning because of the 30 mile an hour winds, so they banned campfires. Hopefully they'll lift it today and be able to have us a nice campfire tonight and maybe during the day today. So <clears throat> yeah. Um, but right now it's a crisp 40 some degrees. It doesn't feel too bad uh, But it's supposed to get up to like 74 today. So it should feel really nice um, I threw up some drone shots right before this and as you can tell already it is nice and packed uh, This morning uh, already and it's just Friday, you know So it's just gonna get even more and more packed and by Saturday morning There will not be a parking space left on this side of the road. They'll be parking everybody on the other side of the road so it should be good um yeah we're basically just gonna hang out today we'll probably go do a little bit of track walking just to get out and do something um they basically run for the most part the same track every year um so nothing new really but uh got the quads sitting out here all nice and pretty looking good and uh we'll go up and get registered at some point as well but other than that we're basically just gonna hang out today and uh, yeah, that's, that's gonna be about it. So next time I catch up with you, maybe this evening, but probably honestly Saturday morning uh, before we go out and uh, get ready to race. So uh, I will see you then. Okay guys, well, went up, got registered. And so uh, the only thing left to do is head up to Tech. So got the old machine running. Good morning everybody. It is officially Saturday morning race day and it is a little after 8 o'clock. Um, youth race just took off so they will be around here shortly. Track runs right through here so we'll see them come through. 
got the YFZ all good and ready to go, I believe. Uh, pretty simple since it's stock, air up the tires, fill it up with gas, she's good to go. So, um, yeah, should be a nice day. It's going to be another day in the 70s, which will be amazing. So, hopefully when I race uh, at 10 a.m., it'll be right around, you know, low 60s, high 50s maybe. It's going to feel uh, pretty good. Unfortunately, it's going to be another dusty race. So, uh, we have not had any rain whatsoever in a long time. And so, it is, it's going to be another dusty one. Hopefully, it won't be as bad as last week's, but uh, it's, it's still going to be a dusty one. So, we'll see what happens. So, uh, probably I may catch up with you guys right before I head up to the line. But other than that, I will see you guys out on the racetrack.
Okay guys, we are home. It is Sunday morning and it's been a heck of a weekend. So hopefully I got some good uh, footage from the race. I'm not sure, I haven't checked it out yet. Um, but I know, uh, I forgot to tell you guys, I was running the chest mount this weekend because unfortunately at the GNCCs, you can't run a chin mount uh, like I normally do. Um, due to AMA rules, it's a whole long story. But basically, I was running the chest mount. I tested it out beforehand. Hopefully, it turned out good. But anyway, it was, like I said, a heck of a weekend. So <clears throat> we got the YFZ here um, nice and dirty, um, especially considering how dusty it was. But the uh, creek crossings at Iron Man are always known to get pretty nasty. So we got those. Uh, we got plenty of mud from that. But overall, uh, the YFZ did her job, so it's still running, still running strong. The only thing I think I've seen so far is it looks like the O-ring to my fill, or like the dipstick of for checking the oil and stuff, looks like the O-ring's probably bad. It's seeping a little bit of oil, but overall not a big deal. Um, other than that, quad ran amazing, exactly like it's supposed to. That fuel injection was running good. Um, just the... Uh, that stock suspension, man, it beat me up. And so um, that's definitely something we're gonna take care of in the off season, get some good shocks on this thing. And then something I'm still just trying to get used to is just the seating position. And so this was the first time racing the YFZ. And so the seating position was definitely a little bit hard for me. If you look at the seat, you can tell I spent a lot of time at the front of the seat because all the you know, there's no mud there. That's where I was wearing it off. And so it's just, I'm so used to, if you look at the 400 over here, the 400 seat, you sit down in here and then the tank, uh, the seat goes up towards the tank and prevents me from going too far. The Yamaha, on the other hand, it does not slope up as much. And plus with this stock seat cover being so slick, I was just sliding forward all day long. And so, that's something hopefully a seat cover as well as a plus one stem will help a little bit. Plus one stem, bring the bars up a little bit, help me kind of have straighter arms. And then also just that seat cover, I won't be sliding forward as much. I'll be more planted on the seat. So uh, it's just something I've got to get used to. It's a lot different um, <clears throat> than the Honda, but I think uh, overall get some riding in, I'll overcome that eventually. And then, of course, like I said, suspension and that kind of stuff. So, um, had a decent day, you know, nothing crazy. Track was really rough. Um, normally, nine times out of ten, uh, when we go to Ironman, it's muddy. This was not the case this year, so ground was super hard, super dry. And, uh, yeah, it just wasn't very forgiving. So, um, overall, uh, had a good weekend. I think I ended up, it was like 23rd out of 40, what was it? 42 in my class, 42 or 43 in my class, and then like 259th out of 530 overall. Or actually, no, the results, the live results showed 250, 259th, but then afterwards it showed I actually got like 275th. I don't know. But basically, wasn't my best day, um, but what do you expect? I'm on a brand new machine. And uh, also, honestly, fitness probably just wasn't quite there. Um, in reality, I'm just not uh, I'm not as good in the fast, dusty races. Um, those guys, they just they go faster than I do, and so uh, it's it's as simple as that. Is they're willing to go faster than I am, and it's not that I don't think I can't go their speeds because my dad told me after the first lap I was actually 11th in class, so I was running pretty good at the start, but then I just dropped back a lot, and so you know it is what it is. Um, I need to just work up to it, start to get a little bit faster over time, get more comfortable with the speed, and uh, hopefully at some point uh, we'll get there. But uh, honestly, this race is just for fun. You know, I'm not running it for points or anything. And so it was a fun weekend, camping, racing, all that good stuff. Got to watch uh, old Neil and Fowler battle it out. It was, it was a good race, and uh, ultimately Neil came out on top with the championship. So... Shout out to all the Bryce and Neil fans out there. I was rooting for him as well. Um, it's it's good to see a little bit of a change. I love Walker Fowler. He's a great guy, but it's nice to uh, see a different face up on the uh, up on the championship box. So, 
cool for him. Um, but yeah, overall, great weekend. And uh, I got to talk to a decent amount of you guys, I think. Um, some of you guys came and said hi. And so uh, if you did, um, thanks for reaching out, saying hi, all that stuff. And uh, if you didn't get to see me, sorry. Um, I, if I wasn't around the camper or if you didn't see me on the start line, uh, maybe next year. But um, anyway, I want to thank you guys for coming back, watching the videos. I really do appreciate it. And <clears throat> as of right now, we got one race left this season. And so we will see how that goes. But for now, uh, I want to thank you for watching, coming back, supporting the channel, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.